Good morning, Style Sisters. Uh, today we are talking about dressing age appropriately. Am I too old to wear that? That is a question I get all the time. So today I just want to spend a few minutes talking about how to dress your age, how not to look too young and not to look too old. So welcome to my weekly little style chat with you. I am Jennifer Mackey Mary from Applin Pear Wardrobe Design. My mission is to make style simple for women at every stage, to make it easy and fun to get dressed and to help you love your style. So like I said, am I too old to wear this is a question I get all the time working with clients. Um, and we're going to address that in a minute. But I want to talk about two cultural myths, if you will, that I think women have bought into when it comes to getting dressed. The number one one is that we wear our clothes too tight. And number two, that women dress too young. Both of those, in my experience, could not be farther from the truth. I would say 80%, at least 80% of my clients are wearing clothes that are too big. And a good number, I don't know if it's as high as 80, are wearing clothes that are too old, right? I think in our quest to not look too young, um, we change, we, we let the pendulum swing so far the other way and we dress too old. With my clients, my goal is always to have, have them look youthful, not young, right? If you're a woman in your 40s, if you're a woman in your 30s, if you're a woman in your 50s or beyond, you don't want to look young. But then again, I've you have never met a woman who's like, you know, I'd really like to add about 20 years to my look. Can we make that happen? Doesn't happen. But women unconsciously and through their style choices are adding those 20 years to their look. So um, today I really want to talk about that because this whole idea that women are dressing too young and you need to act your age, it just isn't happening. At least not in my world and I've dressed thousands of women so I'm guessing it's not happening in a lot of places too. So um, there are two things I think women are doing that that are dressing too young and number one is not buying the right fits, right? So I meet women all the time, and these are women in their 30s, 40s, 50s who have given birth to children, who have waists and hips and curves and all that stuff, and they are wearing pants, especially jeans, that have an odd numbered sizing, like three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. 11, 13, you get the idea, right? Those are junior sizes. Those are juniors. Odd numbers are juniors. Now I'm not talking about like a 27 or a 29 or a 31. That's a waist size. That's something totally different. But when you are wearing jeans that are size 13, you are wearing a junior jean. If you have a waist and hips, that is not a junior body. It's not gonna fit you right. So it's time to buy grown up clothing. I, I speak all the time and one of the questions I get asked afterwards is how do I find jeans that fit? Totally different topic for another day. Um, but I discover that a lot of these women are buying junior jeans and then wondering, why did I get this huge gap in the back? Well, because you're wearing jeans made for a 12 year old. So there you go. So that is the first thing is, is finding the right fit. The second thing I find is that women of a certain age, and when I use that term, I'm talking about women in their late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, beyond. It really doesn't, there is no like one age. You are 30, you now must have short hair and sensible shoes. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about women as we age, continuing to only shop in fast fashion stores, in stores that cater toward a really young market. So can you go to Old Navy when you are in your 50s and buy black pants and a cardigan? Yeah, you absolutely can. However, it just reads younger than going to Ann Taylor, let's just use Ann Taylor, and buying black pants and a cardigan. The concept of the same is the same, but the execution is totally different. And it's, you're, it's not even something that you're gonna go, wow, these are crazy, trendy, cheap pants, and these are grown up, sensible pants. It, you're not even gonna see the differences that much, but when you put them on, if you put the outfit from Old Navy on versus the outfit from Ann Taylor, even if it is black pants and a pink cardigan, it's going to look different. So as we age, the goal has to be to sort of, you know, add in a mix. I bought a top from H&M yesterday and I'm 43. Um, I bought a top from H&M. It is a black blouse. It has the neckline that I love. It has a great sleeve. It's just a black blouse, but I'm going to wear it with grown up jeans from Ann Taylor, by the way. Um, or, you know, from Nordstrom, I'm not going to pair it with H&M jeans. The whole outfit would just look too young. So those are the two things that I see women doing. Number one, not buying sizes that are right for women. Um, number two, not buying clothes or consistently buying only clothes from from young brands that are young. I, I never think you should stop buying young clothes, but you have to mix them into a grown-up wardrobe. 
Okay, now I want to talk about how to look youthful, not young. That is my goal. I say to my clients all the time, okay, lady, we got to young it up a little bit, right? Like you are, you're in your 40s. Let's, let's young it up. Here's how you do that. Three simple things. Number one, get a better bra. Get a better bra, get a better bra. If you want the fountain of youth, it's in your bra. Um, so many women think that bras are an afterthought and they are not. They are called foundations for the reason, for a reason they should be the foundation of your wardrobe. So if you have not had a fitting within a year, um, gain or loss of about, I don't know, 10 to 15 pounds or more um, after a baby or after you've stopped nursing or your bras are worn out, they're on the last hook and they're super comfy. When your bras are super comfy, it's probably time for, um, for a little tightening up. Um, but anyway, you need a better bra. Gravity, ladies, gravity takes away a lot. Um, and it takes away this little part right here under our rib cage because our boobs sort of kind of melt into our waist. You gotta get that back. And if nature's not doing it, go ahead and buy it in a better bra. A better bra, the right bra, will make you look taller, leaner, and more youthful. It'll give you back your curves. It's gonna make everything you wear look better. That is the number one thing you can do to look more youthful without looking young. Number two is play with color. Color, color, color. Um, another thing time takes away is color. It takes it from your hair, it takes it from your skin, it takes it from your eyes, it takes it from your lips, it takes it from your eyebrows. Everything becomes a little bit more colorless. Unless you are a person who looks good in black, naturally looks good in black, which by the way, isn't as many of us as we would like to think, uh, black is going to age you considerably really dark harsh colors age you um i'm in navy today if i put on a black cardigan instead you would really see the difference you know how when if you're a blue-eyed person you wear a shade of blue people go oh your eyes look so blue it's reflecting that right what black does is it reflects shadows and lines and creases and makes you look tired so instead of just going black is simple black is slimming uh, um you know black is chic which by the way it is invest in some color start exploring some color find your best colors you would be surprised at how much more youthful you look when you ditch the black and gray and you put a little color into into your wardrobe um last one i can't even read my own writing what am i talking about today okay um i would say and this kind of goes back to what i was talking about earlier the third one is invest in quality Trends. I know that's a little bit of a, a misnomer um, because I think we think of trendy pieces as um, kind of throwaways that you can buy from H&M. I would buy a basic black blouse from H&M. I buy t-shirts from H&M all the time. If I were to go buy a trendy piece, it would be from Nordstrom or Ann Taylor or um, Anthropology stores that have a little bit more grown up aesthetic, um, stores that have a little bit nicer quality. Those trendy pieces are going to read age appropriate when they are of higher quality. So one of the things you can do to, and I wrote this in my blog post, if you haven't read it, I posted it yesterday, I think, um, about, um, things you can do or not do actually to to stop the the aging process with your wardrobe uh, but one of the things I wrote about was don't stop being trendy you have to stay current otherwise you know a, a wardrobe full of dated clothes ages you considerably so you want to stay current but it's time to invest in those pieces a little bit more um, and you know if you really love it go ahead and buy it and you know if it's gonna be out next year I'm not saying that everyone should go out and buy you know a a foil pleated midi skirt if that's not your jam don't go invest a lot of money in it but uh, when you buy the grown-up trends reinterpreted in a grown-up way with a little bit of quality it's going to help you look young look current or look youthful and current but not look too young whereas buying a foil pleated midi skirt from H&M or you know forever 21 is going to do that finally I've got one last one for you buy clothes that fit buy clothes that fit buy clothes that fit good bra and clothes that fit are really the two secrets to having the, the foundation for good style. Um, I, I did a, a talk earlier this fall, and afterwards a girl asked me, the only jeans, she her, said, the only jeans that really fit me well are American Eagle. And she said, but I feel like I'm, gonna, I'm too old to be wearing them, and my friends are going to laugh at me. 
Okay, let's let's break that down a little bit. Um, first of all, American Eagle jeans fit curvy women really, really well, really well. I have put lots of women in their 30s and 40s and 50s in American Eagle jeans because they fit curvy women really well. Now the rise can be a little bit low, but that's you know that's between you and your your jeans. Um, so if it fits you, buy that. You know, if she went to, I don't know. And I had a client at Loft, and she's like, "Ooh, the zipper's just too long. Every every jean at, light, at Loft was just too high rise. It just made her feel old." So if you go to Loft and you think, "Oh, I should buy grown up jeans, um, but they don't fit you as well," don't buy those. Also, if your friends are close enough to your butt that they're reading your <laughs> jean label and they care, it's time to get new friends. Um, so buy what fits you. Buy what fits you. The other thing I see women do all the time as we age, we don't like to show skin. We don't like to. Um, Feel like we're on display so we tend to cover up a lot more and that is not a good strategy it's not a great strategy ever to throw tons of extra fabric on your body uh, it's going to hide your shape it's not going to be flattering but it's also going to make you look a lot older so as you age make sure that your clothes are still fitting you properly and again it's not about clothes being too tight because i never see that i never see women wearing clothes that are too tight i see women wearing clothes that are too big all the time that adds um it adds bulk and it adds years so again to look youthful but not young better bra if you haven't had a bra fitting in a year go get one um play with color ditch the black don't break up with it completely i tried to do that it was impossible i get it but invest in more color um, invest in quality trendy pieces um, look for grown-up trends basically and um, then buy clothes that fit that those are really the four secrets to looking youthful but not young um, I'm gonna give you one more because I just can't I can't leave this one alone shoes 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 actually if you go on my blog you can search for um, six wardrobe choices that age you maybe I'll throw up put it in the comments below um, but sensible shoes are one of them now I understand that people need comfortable shoes that's not what I'm talking about I'm not saying that you have to walk around in stilettos all the time but what I am saying is that frumpy shoes age you horribly so don't do that um, there you go that's all I got for you oh you have to sign up for the cut the clutter challenge that starts on Monday it starts Monday just a few days from today I'm going to take you step by step through my phase one of closet editing we're gonna start getting rid of first of all we're gonna organize your closet and then we're going to start getting rid of stuff that just isn't working. I'm going to break this down for you. The problem is people try and do everything. Hi. Oh, it's from mom. Hi, mom. Um, we are going to organize your closet in a way that works. And then we are going to start getting rid of it section by section. The problem is that people want to do everything at once. They take everything out. They make a huge pile on their bed. And then you have to go through everything and people get tired. And since my mom is watching this, I will use her as an example because we did this this summer. And by the end, even she was like, I don't care. Just put it back in the closet. I don't care. So we're not going to do that. We're going to take it step by step not get overwhelmed and uh, there you go so make sure that you sign up i will also put that link in the comments and you're good to go have a happy easter everybody i will see you next week bye